I want him to get the chances that everybody else does. I grow big and strong, and I have faith that he will. He was having perianal skin tags on his bottom, and our pediatrician just told us to follow up with a gastro doctor. That let us hear. He had a couple of tests done, but they decided he needed a colonoscopy and some other things, and ultimately decided after deliberation that he had Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is the chronic disease with inflammation of his gastrointestinal tract. It affects his daily life by just like at school, he can have accidents still sometimes. You know, he has to skip out on a lot of things to run to the bathroom. It was kind of hard, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. During an exam, she noticed that his spleen was enlarged and sent us for an ultrasound. We had a follow-up ultrasound and then blood work and with no answers, then we met with the genetic team. When they were screening for these different diseases, we were kind of caught off guard with the fact that he really did have something quite serious. And he was diagnosed with Neiman Pick Type C. Neiman Pick Type C is a fatal genetic storage disorder, and the cholesterol in his cells, they can't get rid of that correctly, so it builds up in his cells and then kills his cells. It's a very hard disease to, to swallow because it takes everything from him. He'll lose his functions, speech, swallowing. His will have enlarged spleen, enlarged liver. He'll lose the ability to walk. Cognitive functions will diminish along with his hearing before ultimately he's, he, it kills him. You get the wheel real good? It's actually very, very hard to diagnose and a lot of times kids lose a lot of their abilities and stuff before they diagnose it. Then it were not for this hospital running that DNA test, we would still have no idea and he wouldn't be getting treatment for it and we'd still have a big surprise coming our way. So right now he gets a IV infusion here at the hospital every four weeks. That has been helping tremendously. Right now he's in a study, it's a drug called VTS270 and it's not approved yet for FDA, but it's through compassionate use because it's a fatal disease they allow them and they're working on getting it FDA approved. There's been a lot of good signs that it works, especially before a lot of damage is done to the brain cells. We went to Washington DC to fight to get it approved to go to a couple meetings with the FDA. It's the only thing there is 10 years ago or less you were just told enjoy your time and you had to watch your kid deteriorate, but at least now there's some hope. It's a rare group. There's only 500 cases worldwide, so for them to hear us was a big deal. This hospital has given my son the best care. They have given him a great shot at a, at a life-changing treatment, and if we didn't know that he had this disease, it would have been too late and maybe we wouldn't have been able to stall it. I think what the doctor's goals are is they've mentioned to us before is like diabetes. They can't cure it, but you can live with it and you can treat it. To just see him and see how happy and how good he is at the things he does and, and to see it stripped away, I can't even imagine it. So I just have to stay positive that he will be the kid that proves it's survivable. And right now, we're really lucky that he's able to do almost everything that normal children can do. He's doing really well. If you didn't know any better, you wouldn't think he was sick. And he's taught me happiness and lucky, very lucky to be his dad. If I could lay out the future like I wanted to, I would want him to just have a great life. I would give mine in a second to know that he could have that.